Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you have a great morning this morning. It is Saturday morning. As always, a coffee kind of morning. It's going to be a twofer. Uh, I'm going to give my opinions and thoughts on Now and Then. And then show you a new amazing live album from Fleetwood Mac. Uh, so uh, stay around. Listen. Um... Now, this isn't going to be a review because it's I've, I've watched a thousand reviews already on Now and Then. It's just going to be my opinion on it. Just a quick version of how I feel about the album. Um, a, I think it's remarkable how they created it. The technology used to create this uh, amazing song from so many years ago. Uh, so, released this year, 2028, in November, just a couple of days ago, actually. It's on a double A-sided single, uh, including a new mix of Love Me Do. So kind of bookends. Love Me Do started it all off in their very first album. And then this ends, as far as we know, this ends uh, with um, uh, Now and Then. Uh, they're also included, those two versions are also included in the reissues of the 73 uh, Red and Blue compilation albums. I'm on the fence about getting those. I already have the red and blue. I have all the UK album uh, versions of the Beatles. Do I want to spend more money and get these versions? Um, as a completist, probably. <laughs> but uh, I'm on the fence about those. I'll see. I'll see. They're released on November 10th, so sometime next week. Uh, but uh, I may do one at a time. Uh, maybe hopefully the cost will come down a little bit. But uh, anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the Now and Then single. Um, I love the idea and the story and the history, I guess, around a, a cassette recording of John sitting in his living room in 77, singing and playing this song in his home. And then uh, Yoko having the cassette still, which is cool. Uh, the remaining Beatles attempted to um, record this or re-record this song in 95 uh, but they couldn't split the vocals and piano and George didn't feel comfortable in the, in the recording either so they they kind of shelved it they went on to record those other two tracks and I should have written them down I'm sorry but uh, they recorded those other singles um, so nothing was done enter 2023 with technology and Peter Jackson who did the Love Me Do sessions, Love Me Do sessions, the Get Back sessions. Uh, he was able to separate the vocals and piano. And uh, the vocals on their own sound remarkable. The piano was beautiful, by the way. Um, and um, hence, uh, a song was created through use of technology, adding new bass parts, new drum parts. Uh, new piano parts, new backing vocals, new orchestra, and a modern version of the a modern version of the 1977 song was created. Uh, when I initially heard the song, I didn't think it was a Beatles song. It sounded like a great John song, but uh, the more I've listened, and I've listened to it every day, uh, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The only thing that distracts me a little bit is the modern older backing vocals of Paul with the younger vocals of John that's kind of weird and um, the heavier bass track uh, maybe they put too much in it as far as the chorus and the sort of the as far as the orchestra and the piano and the and the extra bass and the, and the new drums um, everything sounds a lot polished maybe than what it would have been back in um, 77 if this was recorded at that time with the Beatles but uh, overall I think it's an amazing song I love it it's not my favorite Beatles song it's growing on me just like the new Stones album it's not my favorite Stones songs on those albums but that album is growing to me and I'm listening to it every day as well I think it's a remarkable release it's so cool that these two iconic bands are releasing something new in 2023. Isn't that re remarkable? 
as well as this next band I'm going to talk about but just a second. Um, <clears throat> so yes, uh, now and then, it's gorgeous, it's remarkable, um, and uh, I think it's amazing how they've done that. And uh, just goes to show maybe the future of recording, what could happen. Uh, maybe they'll find other stuff. I don't know what's in the mix. I would I wouldn't think so. This may be it. And that's cool that the bookends of uh, Love Me Do and Now and Then are on this uh, single. Um, and now uh, Love Me Do sounds amazing as well. Um, but uh, I'm on the fence about getting the red and blue. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Now and Then. Uh, I wanted to share with you this uh, amazing release of uh, a recorded album in 1977, another one in 77. Uh, this is Fleetwood Mac Rumors Live. And uh, it's previously unreleased live show from Le legendary 1977 Rumors Tour, including Dreams, Go Your Own Way, Say You Love Me, The Chain, and more. Um, and uh, just recently released. And uh, there's the inner sleeve. Um, this is a double album. Uh, there's the what the CDs look like. And uh, okay. And even uh, they've even expanded the you can't see it maybe, but inside the cover is uh, more expansion of those uh, live shots, which is cool. Um, and there is a booklet with it. Um, just a small one, nothing. Just the story of it, really. Okay. So yeah, um, this sounds amazing. It really, really does. And in in my thinking, they kind of made tribute to Christine McVie uh, as in the middle of the um, CD, and I'm sure the vinyl itself, uh, they have quotes uh, and the verses uh, from Songbird. So, and the Songbirds are singing, like to know the score, and I love you, I love you, I love you, like never before. And it also ends... It's odd that a, a, a live album ends with a ballad, but it ends with Songbird on side two. So um, you've got on side one, you've got Say You Love Me, Monday Morning, Dreams, Oh Well, uh, Rihanna, Oh Daddy, Never Going Back Again, Landslide, Over My Head, Gold Dust Woman, Oh Well is from the Peter Green version of Fleetwood Mac, which is cool. Uh, Lindsay Buckingham does an amazing version on that one. Uh, this too is You Make Love and Fun, I'm So Afraid, Go Your Own Way, World Turning, Blue Letter, The Chain, uh, Secondhand News, and Songbird from this amazing Rumors album. Of course, Rumors, one of the best uh, and highly commercial successful albums uh, of that uh, decade. But... Um, yeah, it's still strong today. But it's cool that they brought out this live version of it. So glad to have that in my collection. And it sounds amazing. The recording is amazing. Um, and uh, it's cool that they honored Christine McVie in that way. Uh, so they start off side one with her song, Say You Love Me. And then they end side two with Songbird. Kind of a cool tribute. So there you have it, guys. There's my thoughts on Now and Then. And this amazing uh, Fleetwood Mac uh, Rumors live album from 1977. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Love you all. We'll talk to you again soon. Take care.